Hey guys, Level Cap here, and today we're taking a look at the new DLC for Ghost Recon Breakpoint called Deep State. It adds eight new story missions and launches alongside a massive update for the game called Immersive Mode. If you're interested in Breakpoint, hit the link in the video description for more info. Thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. Now, fans of the Splinter Cell franchise will be happy to hear that Sam Fisher is returning in Deep State. Along with him comes a bunch of fourth echelon items for you to outfit your character with. The new story missions take you around Aroa to deal with an unknown enemy that has some new, more powerful drone tech. In keeping with Sam Fisher's MO and the theme of Deep State, Stealth gameplay is heavily emphasized in some of the missions. The opening missions focus on sabotaging Krell bases to gain intel on an unknown enemy called the Strategist and Midas, one of the ghosts that went missing in action on the arrival to Aurora. The missions eventually branch out, allowing you to pick which one you want to do next. The deeper you go, the more intel you get about the big bad guy and how to stop him. Now, having Sam Fisher back and voiced by his original actor, Michael Ironside, is like hanging out with an old friend. His lines are delivered with the same measure of grit that's synonymous with Splinter Cell, and it fits in great with Breakpoint. At launch, Breakpoint emphasized big drone battles and action set-piece moments, but the core gameplay really gives you a ton of options for combat. Deep State brings the stealth elements to the forefront, but what makes them really stand out is the new Ghost Experience update. You can now choose three different ways of playing Breakpoint. There's the regular experience that we've had since launch, then there's the immersive mode that removes gear level and tiered loot entirely. And finally, there's a custom mode that lets you tailor the experience to your liking. Options for the custom experience include no gear level, realistic looting, ammo loss on reload, health regen, new heads up display settings, private mode, and more. Difficulty can also be modified with a bunch of these settings that affect enemy AI, health, damage, and more. Ubisoft have opened the doors to fully customize everything about Breakpoint. Getting rid of the gear level and tiered loot means that all your gear and weapons can serve their role without needing to be of a certain level or rarity. If you find a gun you like, you can just keep using it and not worry about its stats. This is a refreshing change of pace and allows players who are less interested in the level mechanics and the stat mechanics of the game to just play it in a slightly more realistic sense. In a lot of ways, Ghost Experience feels like the way Breakpoint was always meant to be played. It lets you remove a lot of the hand-holding or rather arcadey or maybe even RPG elements from the game. Now, I've been playing Breakpoint for a while, so I'm already knee deep in the story, but I'll bet that it'd be really interesting to start the game fresh with immersive mode enabled. Fortunately, you don't have to start from scratch to change mode or options. You can hop in and out of immersive mode at will, as well as changing all of the immersive mode settings whenever you want. I settled on the guided experience with loot tiers and gear level disabled. This way, I still had heads up display markers for main objectives, but didn't have to do the usual balancing act of upgrading my weapons and gear constantly. There's also some new quality of life features like customizable camera distance, map voting in PvP, and more. On top of that, there's also two new classes to unlock. The standout one being Echelon. This gives you a sonar ping ability and highlights enemies through walls. Now, of course, the first thing I did when starting my playthrough of Deep State was to put on the classic Splinter Cell attire, complete with Sam's iconic trinocular multi-vision goggles. Of course, you have night vision and thermal vision available to you, but more importantly, they just look badass. The first proper mission you do for Sam requires that you start at night. It's a stealth takedown of a Krell pipeline and power facility. After these missions, the more action-packed gameplay of Breakpoint opens up as you clear enemy bases and territory, looking for clues about the strategist. Between the more grounded gameplay the Ghost Experience enables and the classic Splinter Cell music playing during the missions, it can almost feel like Deep State is trying to be a spiritual successor to Splinter Cell. During the stealth sections, you get that classic spy and enemy territory vibe, but you also have the gear of a Ghost Recon operative at your disposal. It's an interesting balance having to rely on your abilities to avoid conflict, but also having access to a rocket launcher and attack helicopters. At its core, Ghost Experience encourages you to keep your feet on the ground and play more tactically, but that doesn't come at the expense of the action that you're used to. 
Having Sam Fisher along for the ride is just icing on the cake. If you're looking to try out Breakpoint, the game is having a free to play weekend this week and the first Deep State mission is free for all players. To continue with the other missions, you'll need to buy the season pass or purchase episode two directly in game with 1900 ghost coins. The eight available missions amount to roughly seven hours of new content, and there's also 10 exclusive Splinter Cell rewards to unlock. Each mission you complete gives you a piece of the echelon gear that you can equip to make yourself a proper Splinter Cell agent. Once again, to check out the game for yourself, click the link in the video description below. And again, a huge thanks to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Calf signing off.